just start with the fucking wheeze. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name's Hollow Tide, and today we are on episode one point seven five of Off Meta. Are we starting? We started. This is it. So, right. before we get into everything else, I am joined by a very special guest who's not a guest, who is hopefully going to become a permanent fixture on this podcast thing and that guy who's not a girl i don't know why i said guy we're not dipper rich you can he can be whatever he wants honestly i said he still but his name is hostile galaxy would you like to introduce yourself to the the world no all right so oh okay uh so my name is hostile galaxy a lot of people know me in the twitterverse as just galaxy um, I don't know. I've, I've been around the destiny community since D one launch pretty much just kind of just vibing my way through uh, a lot of familiar faces. I'm sure going to be listening to this podcast because hollow and I have a very similar friend group. So to everybody who knows me, hello, I miss you. I love your face to everybody who doesn't know me. I'll tell you a little bit about myself. Um, I'm a kind of clip hitter, kind of content creator, more of a personality, I guess, in the community. I'm friends with a lot of people who like actually take things seriously. I, for one, can't do that. So I just make jokes on Twitter a lot. You'll probably see me in Twitch chats, usually in PvP streamers and stuff, because that's that's my forte. But I talk about orange juice a lot. No pulp, specifically. Um, I have a crush on a new girl probably every other week, so I, I tweet about that a lot. And then booty. I'm a big fan of booty. I don't know. Can I talk about, can I say that? I don't care what you talk. This is Yeah, I like is, booty. Yeah. Yeah, it's just, it's nice. It's better. I'm, I'm a butt guy as opposed to the other two nasty things that are usually on a chest. But um, I guess a little about like my actual like personal background my my first name is matt or matthew a lot of a lot of people call me maddie from like my hometown and stuff speaking of which would be san diego california i currently live in minnesota and i hate it here i really hate it here it sucks and i want to leave all the time but i'm poor like a lot of other people so i'm i'm just gonna chill can we know where the name Hostile Galaxy came from, or is that like episode thirty-seven? That's more. What episode? What you said, like one point seven five. Yeah, what that, that's what we're on. All right, so it's more of an episode one point seven five thing. Oh, yeah. I don't know. It's kind of like I don't have like a super deep meaning behind it. Um, I'm. I recently swapped over to PC. Like maybe four months ago i Mm -hmm. think and so i've only ever played on playstation before this and so playstations like gamer tags and stuff are all really limited and i've only ever had three in my life the first one was admiral akbar for all you star wars junkies and fans yeah it's a trap and then everybody dies and i thought that was super cool so that was my first one at the age of nine and then a couple years later, <laughs> I was going through puberty and stuff. So I had a lot of hormonal uh, rage and buildup. So I thought it'd be really funny if I made one about thrusting. And so Thunder Thrust was born. And that was that was a good one. I did a lot of like Call of Duty, like wagers and GBs and all that stuff back then. And so it was always really funny when I'm playing against people who have super sweaty names and then mine is like the equivalence of just loud air, air humping basically. Mm -hmm. And so I stuck with that for a while and ended up getting banned. I don't, I don't know why it's a little subjective, but I've seen some (laughs) pretty like straightforward ones Yeah. anyway. 
So then at this point in time, I was a bit older. And so I wanted to think of something that was kind of edgy because I'm a sad boy, but also like not too edgy. Like I didn't want dragons in my name or fire or flame or 420 or any of that stuff. So everybody that has dragon in their name has now been offended. Yo, sorry, not sorry. But anyway, um, so I thought about it a little bit and I'm a huge fan of like space exploration and anything to do with like theory, like wormhole theories and alternate dimensions and stuff and all of like everything ties into like the big bang and how we're before I go down that rabbit hole. Um, I just really like space and um, I've always been kind of a quieter kid, I would say. And so, like, it stuck to myself. A lot of people described me as, like, intimidating, which is really funny because, like, I'm a really small person. Like, even as a full-grown adult, there are, like, sixth graders that could literally beat me up. And so I just had I had this expression on my face all the time, resting bitch face. Of, Can I cuss? Oh, no. Yes, of course. Okay, so I had a severe case of resting bitch face. And so people were always, like, worried about what I was going to do, say, whatever. And so they would always label me as, like, the hostile kid. And so I thought that was super cool if I, like, put, like, one of my passions with something that I didn't really like people thinking about me. Because nobody wants to be thought of as, like unapproachable or mean or whatever so i put them together and that kind of created like this medium where like it's hostile but it's also a galaxy and so there's like this internal like beauty behind the name but when other people see it they're just like okay this guy's an edgelord so i mean that original plan kind of backfired because i didn't want to be i didn't want to be that guy that like people make fun of when they match Mm -hmm. so luckily now that I'm on PC, I just go by Galaxy, which I think is even edgier. <laughs> but it's nice. It's friendly. I'm trying not to be mean. You know, I that's kind of dropped the whole hostile thing. Mm-hmm. That's what a lot of people knew me as, like, in the D2 community and stuff. Like, they'd always say, hi, hostile, or hey, hostile, or they'd make jokes about Gambit. And say hostiles at the beach, and then they go, "Hey, what are you doing at the beach? We're supposed to be playing Gambit, and that's why I hate Gambit." And so now I just go by Galaxy. Do you know my first gamer tag? I don't. I think you've told me it, but I don't remember. Kung fused camp. <laughs> Kung fused panda. I don't get it. I was I well it was like confused panda. But yeah, was... but also Kung Fu. Yeah. And Panda. Yeah. How old were you? I was in college. You're ridiculous. I <laughs> I am absolutely ridiculous. I remember. You were a grown man. You graduated high school. People thought I was a child. Like I don't in know the, why. In the COD 4 lobbies and stuff, they'd be like, you're a kid. But... And then, then they made fun of your mom. Yeah. 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 Sorry, that was probably me. <laughs> no, it's fine. And then I think I had like, I don't know. I don't even remember what tags were in between that and um, like Hollow Tide. But anyways, um, so yeah, that's Matthew or Hostel or Galaxy or H.G. Wells, as we call him. Uh, only super close friends can call him that, though. Um, which is everybody that listens to the podcast because you're a friend of the podcast. So you're probably wondering, Hollow Tide, why did you stop after one episode? And I will tell you why. I was wondering that. See? The whole world. Yeah. Can you, like, explain? But before we do that, we're going to do Twitter questions. I'm just kidding. So what happened was... I had the idea for Off Mena, blah, 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 and I had reached out to some people um, to, you know, see if they wanted to be on the show and stuff, and Hush was all for it, Um, so we did his episode first, 
And um, then I got asked to join G1 or Gamers First, whatever you know them by in the Destiny world, to uh, pretty much help start and run their operations with uh, my good friend Cruiser. And after, uh, I think I was in there for over a month, maybe. Um, it was very time consuming. Uh, uh, you know, starting an, an org is a huge undertaking, especially when there was absolutely no foundation to, you know, go off of at all. There, there was no, you know, prior team and anything like that. So, from the um, ground up. Yeah, it was literally from the ground up. So, on top of working a regular IRL job, I was pretty much working a second job, you know, trying to come up with branding and all that other stuff and constantly being in calls, um, discussing things and blah, 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 blah. I, I did mostly the social media stuff and it was um, a large undertaking trying to create a foundation for that team to thrive. So, um, some time went by and a couple of invites had gone out to other people to be on the show or podcast whatever you want to call it and um like people who were interested were kind of like eh um and um kind of backing out or being non-committal and then uh it just kind of fell to the wayside it's not an extremely hard thing to do to create a podcast um for me mostly it's all based around time and making sure I maximize whatever efforts I'm putting into content creation. You know, I, I, I don't want it to be just, you know, stuff thrown at the wall and it be semi-okay or not professional. So um, I didn't want to do anything by myself either. And then the direction kind of was just like up in the air about what content I was even going to do. I'm not going to lie. You know, like we play games and whatnot and uh myself i try to do like youtube and streaming and it's just you know it's it's hard to do both at the same time and thankfully i have a an editor who has been helping me with youtube um his name is pappy and he's completely you know allowed me to focus on other things like streaming you know where i would only be able to stream you know three times a week or something like that because I would focus on making a video and editing and stuff. I'm, um, I'm able to, to really maximize my efforts elsewhere. So now with COVID and Corona and all this stuff happening, I work from home. I have a little bit more time to, to do stuff. And Matt has literally been yelling at me for three months to get back on this train. And I was like, well, Matthew... We have such great conversations as it is. I think that maybe, you know, it would be cool if if you would join me and stuff and then and then and then he ghosted me because he said he had to get a new microphone and all this stuff because he thought his microphone That's was true. poopy. It was. Eh, I thought Yeah, it was. I, it was pretty bad. Yeah, you sound great now though. So You sound great. Yeah, you look great. Okay. Oh, all right. And uh, <laughs> so this is where we're at now. And um, that is what happened with Off Meta Episode 1 to now. And hopefully uh, it does not happen again. I think, and Matthew and I have kind of talked about this, we don't want it to be a weekly type of thing. I think we want to maximize... Um, especially when we have guests on, to kind of not oversaturate what it is, um, especially because we're not talking about you know weekly updates in a video game. There are other Destiny podcasts out there that you guys can go listen to, where you know every week they talk about what's in the TWAB and stuff. And I mean, to be completely honest, I don't think that that's the direction that we're looking at, but. We do want to talk about games and gaming and how it kind of ties into to life, and I think that that's um, something that 
Matt can really provide insight to. He's a very smart young man. He's very thoughtful. The the type of conversations that we have just in Discord would make for amazing episodes, I feel like, because of the, the topics that we, we cover. So like orange juice. Like and why pulp is necessary. I pulp think is terrible. what we're gonna do is you. you know, we'll have guests and stuff and similar to how we did with Hush, you know, it'll just be a conversation about them as a as a human being and as a content creator in the gaming sphere, you know. And then um I think episodes where we don't have guests on um probably tweet out like hey is there a topic that you guys want to hear about or talk about um is mm-hmm. there something near and dear to your heart um we could talk about like matt was talking about how he loves space i love space love it i love what space do you like the most i like quasars yeah you do be a big fan of quasars i, I do i just feel like there's something more to it there has to be these fucking Oh, I see. I told you we can cuss. These giant ass things on the edge of the universe that put out more energy than it's just it's the butthole of a black hole. That's why I think it's not even like the edge of the universe, though. Yeah, there is no edge. That's the best part. It keeps going. Do you think that the universe repeats itself? You know how like matter and all that stuff gets farther and farther away from it. Uh, not itself, but like other particles of matter out there. Like the yeah. farther out you go, do you just think that it like is like all right, let's restart, and then it just it's like a, well, a mirror. You know, like people say that space is infinite. Yeah, and I get stuck on this topic a lot. If space, if something is truly infinite, then it repeats itself mm-hmm. in forms that are unlike the original copy. Mm. So if space is infinite, there is an exact replica of our solar system somewhere yeah Where all the planets are spaced the exact same <sighs> like distance apart yeah rotating at the same speed orbiting yeah. at the same speed the same sun but one random person in all of the world could have just one less strand of hair or and like that, a tentacle that, exact or tentacle you know and that's like it it varies from like very minuscule differences mm-hmm. to literal planet size distances. Like we could have a solar system where Pluto still is considered a planet Pain. or Jupiter is non-existent. Like there's so much behind. Maybe instead of me having blue eyes, I have light blue eyes or dark blue eyes or blue green. You know, like mm-hmm. the possibilities are literally endless. Maybe my dad would still be in my life. Maybe your dad would still be in your life. Maybe the McFlurry machine actually works. You know, like there. I'm and, sorry that I compared your dad <laughs> being in your life to a broken McDonald's ice cream machine. I mean, I think but there's some works. symbolism there. There is some symbolism. You are missing out on that sweet nectar of love in your life. You know, what if it's and the Baja why. Blast machine at Taco Bell? Do they have a machine specifically? No, for but what life? if what if they did in that world? Anyways, so oh that's the type God. of stuff we can talk about. <laughs> um, and also more, not more important, because I think that conversations like that are are beneficial to you know, like your growth. I think critical thinking and yeah. abstract yes, more, thinking. More importantly, it's. I feel like that's something that humans should do regardless. But we can also talk about things, um, you know, that are, you know, like mental illnesses and, you know, promoting issues at hand in the world that require attention, like voting and stuff like that. Like, I don't know if you guys know, but, uh, you know, it's all this is a big deal. Everything that's happening in the world is if if the 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 smallest thing that you can do is vote please go do it it's such an important part of your like it it's a human right you know you 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 should be able to pick and choose even if everybody who you get to pick and choose from is terrible you should still go do it um for, for, i mean forget about it being a human right it mm-hmm. is cool 
to vote. That's cool. I think it's cool to vote. Puff when Daddy I was a said kid, that. there were like three things that I was excited for in life when I turned 18. Mm -hmm. Cigarettes, which I don't smoke, so that fell flat. <laughs> Moving out, which I did, and so far that's been terrible. And three, voting, which I've done every year that I've been able to. And even though the person that I voted for has never won, it's still, it's cool. So I get a sticker I, that says that I voted, and I get to show off to people that think that their vote doesn't count. But my vote for sure counted more than somebody who didn't. So what you're saying is you're going to vote for the person you don't want to win this time. <laughs> so. No, because 2020 <laughs> has been such a bad year that I feel like I would fall into that unlucky category and somebody may or may not get a second term. I don't I'm not gonna say anything. <laughs> I'm not gonna say anything, but I'm not, you know, I'm just I don't think things are okay right now. Yeah. And I think things need to change. I do feel I went to go see Akira or Akira if you wanna if you really wanna, you know, be be cool. Yeah, that's anyway, how, you saw Akira. That's what the guy at the the concession stand said because you have to buy your tickets there now and oh, um i was gross. with my two friends and uh he's like what are you guys seeing and i was like akira please and he goes go akira and i was like yep that's the one man thank you like the car and he he made it seem like i was dumb in front of my friends because he was like think you were dumb no but um oh. anyways i saw that movie again for probably the 38th time and, well, you saw it in 4K this time, oh, right? Oh, the, the sound, too, was... Oh the my, sound was in I 4K feel like also? That's, I, <laughs> that's insane. I, <laughs> What's the difference? It's four times the case. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. It's four times the decibels. Wouldn't that be 4X? I... Anyways, so watching that movie, everything about it is almost it's it takes place in like 2019, 2020. The Olympics take place in Japan and you know, the Olympics in real life was supposed to take place in Japan in 2020 and stuff. There's so many mm -hmm. things that are, you know, a pandemic is actually happening in that world and um there's a lot of similarities between like police brutality and um, civil unrest and people being upset with the government and all this other stuff and um, protesting and you see these images from uh, the film is from I believe 1988 is when they made it so it was in the 80s it's very quote-unquote old you know by this point in time but there are there are scenes where you see you know, these overzealous police officers just shooting people with tear gas, gun, cannon things, and they're, like, laughing. And it's kind of like a weird commentary on, you know, 2020 from something that was made so long ago. But I digress. I don't even know why we're talking about this. Oh, because we were talking about other things that we would talk about, talk talking talking about yeah i i don't i i was just gonna let you go oh man i could ugh, i can talk if you guys haven't seen that movie it is uh we also oh, wait you don't like you don't like anime like that do you you only I, watched it's not that i don't like anime oh. i've just never really gotten into multiple episodes the only anime that i've watched hunter. from like start to beginning is hunter hunter mm -hmm. or hunter x hunter whatever well, and pushes glasses. I absolutely, up. yeah. You don't wear. I actually push his glasses <laughs> up. <laughs> I have glasses on right now. Don't you? You're disgusting. I, anyway, mm -hmm. um, bright freak. So mm -hmm. I really enjoyed Hunter Hunter. Like I loved it. I was stuck on it for forever. I've watched it um, two times now, and I started a third run through with a friend of ours, Kyle, mm -hmm. and. I don't know. I just I just really love it. But aside from that, like I didn't grow up watching kind of like the introductory anime, I guess, or at least like the mainstream anime, especially for like America, where it'd be like Pokemon and 
Yeah. Like Dragon Ball Z, yeah. King of the Hill, you know, like the Cory in the House, the main one <laughs> that everybody watches. Like I didn't <laughs> I didn't have that. Like I grew up more of like an outside kid. Like I was always doing sports and stuff. Yeah. And and so like I never like when I got to the age where I could decide like, hey, I'm gonna start watching shows now, it was like SpongeBob. I also think that like because we do have an age difference for me you are pretty old i i I remember because i did sports and stuff too but your birthday is in october right yeah you turning 43 this year 67 i remember coming home you know and not being able to watch toonami in um because it was like from like i don't know four to seven or something and i would always get home after that but I do remember on weekends I would stay up, especially with like my friend who lived down the street who was, he was way more into anime and uh, stuff like that before I was because his parents didn't really care about him and he had like full reign of the internet and stuff back in the day when we still had dial up and he had already discovered this whole other universe and hentai and I would... What's that? (laughs) And I remember like going to his house and we would stay up and watch Adult Swim. Hentai. Oh. And that's how I watched like Yu Yu Hawk Show and you know, Bleach and Roroni Kinshin and all those, you know, other things. I remember watching uh Gundam Wing Endless Waltz. Uh that was the first like anime movie I ever watched. And I begged and begged my mom to like take me to FYE so I could I could buy a DVD copy just so I could watch it. I still have the DVD copy. I still have my original Akira DVD as well. Um what, don't have a DVD what's player. FYE? I for your for entertainment. entertainment. Yeah. Did that you was not a store? Yes. And it was just it was they sold CDs, you know, like fucking like block, blockbuster. Yeah. But it was for... But, like, the poor version. Yeah. That's you didn't cool. rent anything. You bought it, though. You just won it. Yeah. Like, that's how people bought sync albums and stuff. They had posters. Do you remember a time where you couldn't download music? Yeah. You had to have the hard copy or vinyl copy. Yeah. I remember CD I cases. Couldn't. You know, like the the things with the you unzip it and then it would have all the pouches for yeah, all the yeah you man. could like flip through all your favorite yeah see i was i came in at like the end of that era and so like i got to see it and it was super cool mm-hmm. but i literally never used it because i had like an ipod nano mm-hmm. or something at that time yeah like the radio used to be important you know and like Remember the different the types of radios fat buttons on it yeah like they were always rounded mm-hmm. and like stuck out all the way mm-hmm. now i just plug my phone in i remember you know there was like the today's hits one and then there was alternative and that's how i listened to like alice in chains and nirvana and uh, i don't know it it was a different a different time it's not Back like pandora like and, genres yeah like, now it's just, like, I guess Pandora is kind of like it because it plays similar music to whatever you type in, but I don't know. I feel like the radio was a lot more important back in the day. I don't even know how it's still a thing. Like, do people, I don't know. What do they play? You can't play WAP on the radio. <laughs> it's because your kind hasn't died out yet, so they they stick around. Yeah. I'm just uh, Today I'm going to donate to the the actual newspaper. You know, to pay for sixty dollars a year that's stupid the newspaper is dumb have you ever actually read a newspaper before as a child i don't think uh i think once i got to college there was like no point even in high school i still would um always read like the sports section because it would have stories about like me or my friends you know in high school um oh like the school papers no 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 like you you grew up in a small town so you were actually in like the local paper yeah 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 that's pretty see i i would read it for that yeah it was cool to like see i didn't play football but you know like some of my friends did and it would be cool to see them like you know this guy had you were that proud friend yeah and then like when baseball season would come around it'd be cool to see stuff and then 
you know, basketball and everything. And, um, it was, it was cool. Did you play basketball? I did, but then I didn't cause I got fat. Why? Why did I get fat? Yeah. I tore my rotator cuff playing baseball oh, yeah yeah and then and then you were sad about it yeah. you couldn't do anything anymore so you just kept eating it's crazy because i don't really have any memories of that like two year um was it more it was than two, two years? years straight of you just eating your but really bread. all i remember is just my kitchen and philly <laughs> cheesesteak pizza from oh my domino's God. and the fucking brownie bite things that you could get from Domino's with fudge drizzle and that's all I remember I just remember I remember literally standing in the kitchen looking down and the pizza would be on the oven and the brownie bites and stuff and Dr. Pepper and I was I remember like looking at it and then looking at myself (laughs) and just being like what (laughs) happened Just catch a, a glimpse of your reflection in yeah. the overhead microwave. Yeah. And just hate yourself. Yeah. I had like, because you know how my face looks now with like my nose and stuff. Like I still, you know, yeah, it's like man. long and pointy or whatever. But yeah. like the rest of my face, like my cheeks and stuff were like so oh, big. You had a dick nose. Yeah. I looked. You were a Squidward. dick nose kid. I look like Squidward. Squidward's not fat though. No, but if yeah, you like put a his Mr. Nose, Crab's nose. Yeah. What? So, but does then your nose, is your nose like a nut sack, like a singular nut residing in a sack? No, I don't think so. So yeah, you got the pointy nose. Then you're like mm. bulb, bulbous. You, you got is that o- what that? Oh is? my god, you have a Owen Wilson nose. I do. It is kind of my wow. stepdad had broken my nose, and it's still wow. like jacked up. But anyways, um. Wow. Yeah, I remember being like, man, no girl is going to want to talk to me, Did let they? alone date me. But the thing is, is I got really funny, I feel like, in that time frame. Mm, you know, a lot of... Up for it, I guess. Yeah, a lot of self-deprecation. Uh, dep- is that the word? What is it? Yeah, self-deprecation. De- yeah, you a lot of that. appreciate your own value. Yeah, a lot of that. Uh, <laughs> girls seem to love that kind of stuff, you know. That- <laughs> At that age? Yeah, that yeah. is like funniest thing ever yeah you so, can't bully me because i bully myself. yeah he's so quirky so a lot of that and um but i was like dude nobody's gonna want to date the fat kid and i'm going to college and stuff like nobody's gonna want to hang out with me oh, after a party college no i got i i started like at the very end of my senior year trying to get back in shape and i'm having deja vu right now this is weird um and I don't think I that's would how run. Deja Vu works. No, like I'm looking at like OBS and Discord and stuff. I don't know. Oh, I, it's actual Deja Vu. Yeah, I had like I a, thought you were just having no, a stroke. No, well, that thinking that like your memories were called Deja Vu. <laughs> They're coming oh. back. <laughs> I'm I'm so I think sweaty. That's just trauma. <laughs> but I remember um I I would run every single day on the elliptical at like level ten for over an hour how many levels are there like 10 (laughs) i was on that the highest level you could be on i was the highest in the room by far so i did that every day i didn't eat and if i did eat it would be a six inch sub from subway with like just lettuce on it and uh you just had a, a salad yeah pretty much and I remember this is this is where it all started. I remember reading that your metabolism was all like B vitamins and stuff, and mm-hmm. I realized that there were B vitamins in Red Bull. I think I think that's oh, what I told no. myself to this day. <laughs> that is that where it all started. Yes. Oh my god! I swear to God, <laughs> I promise. So that's where my Red Bull addiction came from. And I mean, I saw results. I dropped. I was the heaviest you I weighed. Great. Well, huh. the heaviest I weighed, I think, was like two eighty. That is maybe more. That um, is more than two of me. Yeah. Well, I I went from one fifty to that. One fifty is still more than me. <laughs> well, that's pain. You could literally have eaten me. I could have. 
I, if I, I was probably would have steak pizza yeah. and like brownie bites. I yeah. was done for. Put that's put, crazy. Yeah, I probably would have. <laughs> I wasn't eating a lot, man. <laughs> Anyways, I didn't understand any of that. That's good. So, the next biggest question is uh, because it's already been 35 minutes of us talking about space and pizza. Is will there be merch? Let me know if you guys want merch, and it'll probably never happen. Next thing, um, what is going to, do we already kind of talk about what this was going to become? Yeah, so it's going to be a good time. It's going to be like my vibe, and you can tell me if this is how you feel, is Matt is the really cool guy, you know, that gets the, he like I'm comes over to your house. He comes over to your house, uh, you know, like envision this, you're in college and stuff. He comes over to your house, he's like, whoa matt's here today was oh man that's cool it's like five o'clock in the evening it's starting to be like it's fall you know so there's like a wind outside we're just sitting on the porch you know watching the leaves fall and everything and matt matt's that dude that is like yo i read an interesting article the other day did my computer just turn off hello hello oh that was weird anyways uh, i read an interesting that's article yeah that's <laughs> shut down <laughs> Anyways, um, Matt would be like, I read a cool article the other day about um, biological planets that create more planets by birthing planets inside their, I don't know, something crazy like that. And then, Are we still talking about like your vibe for what yeah, this is going to be? Yeah, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Sure. Yeah, so like, and I'm, I'm the other dude in another chair that's like, whoa, that's really cool. Let's keep talking about it. I don't know anything about that subject, but I do know things about subjects around that subject. You know, like Philly cheesesteak. Yeah, like let me order a Philly cheesesteak pizza, some brownie bites for the boys, and then all Mm -hmm. all the people that listen are just like you know they're hanging out at the house. You know, they they might be throwing a football in the yard listening to our conversation. That's what I want it to be like. I want it to be like a group of friends. Um, I would love to throw a football with you. I would love to throw. That's such like a small thing. Like 2020 sucks, dude. <sighs> I just want to shake someone's hand again. I haven't. Yeah. Do you remember hugs? Okay, I'm gonna be real. I was a big. It's probably gonna be a little depressing. I I haven't been hugged for longer than the pandemic, bro. <laughs> Just, just hug one of the your last coworkers. last time I was hugged, I remember the date specifically. Jesus. Was July 2nd after I got out of the hospital. That was the last time that I had been hugged. God. it's I've been... Listen. You've been there's a reason deprived. I talk about booty a lot. That's a, well, Did you hug a booty? A of, I wish. Mm. I would have. It was my mom, so maybe I don't wish. But, you got one of those right, um so, so your vibe Oedipus, is like, Oedipus? I, is that no Odysseus I don't know what who Odysseus has the mom is. complex from Greek mythology um it's not Odysseus it's from is it, it is not Odysseus Oedipus Oedipus yeah. it might be Oedipus anyway you talk there's, while a, I there's look a lot it up. of there's a lot of Greek Greek mythology figures. mommy issues greek mommy that's literally all of them <laughs> the controlling greek mother 17 differences between a normal mom and a greek mom. <laughs> greek mom so, and her son my vibe mm-hmm. that i get so you think i'm like the cool kid yeah you're definitely like the guy that like, like shows up and everybody's like just Yo. randomly shows up and yeah. everybody's like stoked about yeah it. we don't even know if you See, go to school anymore like you're in the oh, classes like, and stuff i literally just like walk around town yeah and everybody just like knows me we just assume that you're in school because you're smart you know mm. but like you're more than school smart maybe that's why everybody's like you know so i'm I'm like Maniac McGee. You definitely you wear a beanie with glasses, and mm. you have a crew neck sweatshirt that has our college's initial things abbreviation. But around. nobody's ever seen me in a class. But like you're you're definitely in classes. Like I think that one kid saw you. He said in his definitely stat okay. 350. I, see, I see where you're getting at. Yeah. I'm like the, okay, I got you. Like you come I take the test. Disagree. The teachers know I... you. <laughs> 
because I hit him up on the weekend. So, yeah. Um, I'm a virgin. So Always. I'm not I married. Think, I think <laughs> not yet. Yeah. I think of myself as the kind of. I don't know. I don't. Okay, so I'm going to start with you. You're definitely like the level headed down to earth. You're going to talk about you're going to bring up the topics. And this might get this might excite you a little bit if you're into it. But you got like a leash on me, not a literal leash, but a metaphorical leash. And you kind of you know, the topics are like the food. I'm I'm a rabid wild dog. And you're just tossing steaks out in front of me, right? And you let me go for it, like you let me you get a couple bites in, and then you and then you reel it back in, because I kind of get carried away with stuff. I'm a passionate person, and if it's anything, it, I don't even have to be passionate about it. If it's something new, I will create a passion for it. Give me a topic, any topic off the top of your head. Raccoon dogs. If can you imagine? If a raccoon was the size of okay, so that there we go. We're already getting into the, into the thought process. Is it a raccoon the size of a dog? If so, what kind of dog? If it's a Great Dane, I'm terrified. Or is it a dog the size of a raccoon with like the same fur pattern? Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you something right now. Okay, uh huh. I just learned that there were such things as raccoon dogs in, in Japan. Real life. Yeah, in they're... real life. So so. Did you ever play Mario? Which I played like two of them. I'm so sorry. did you ever, you know, the, have you seen like the box cover where it's Mario, but he has on like a little raccoon suit? I, yeah. So I that's called Tanuki Mario, right? Mm-hmm. Fucking raccoon dogs are called Tanukis. And I had, I had no idea. It, like if you look up Japanese raccoon dog, it is a raccoon dog. Is a dog raccoon or a raccoon dog? I'm not sure. It looks more like a raccoon. And I love them. It's my favorite animal now. Them like red pandas. Oh my gosh, they're my favorite. Anyways, red so but that's yeah, just something okay, I learned totally. the other day. Yeah, we're getting completely sidetracked. So I was gonna say I'm the one that's gonna get sidetracked, but I mean I think we're very similar. And so I feel like that's a good thing because we are both very, I want to say omniscient, but we are very attentive to mm -hmm. what other people are doing, saying and acting or whatever. Mm -hmm. So if you're going on your tangent about raccoon dogs, I feel like I would be, you know, stable enough mentally surprised to kind of like to kind of get things going back on the right track, even though I have no idea what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. You're the one that like has all the ideas in your head, mm. and so I'm just I'm just here to like talk with my best friend. I think that's the vibe. I think it's two best friends just hanging out, talking about stuff, and other people would probably laugh at some of the things that you or I say, or at my laugh. That seems to be a common thing recently. People mm. like to make fun of my wheeze. It's not funny. <laughs> I had asthma when I was a kid. I fought really hard to get over that. Now my lungs are great, but I have a weird laugh. Yeah, I mean, bro, just get I over it. It's not funny. This is a serious matter. It upsets me. Not actually, but, you know, for sake of seriousness for once, I can't, I don't know. I hate my laugh. I think it's funny, though. You think Do your you... laugh is funny? I think you have multiple types of laughs. I do and that's another thing i have like an identity crisis well at least you don't cackle you yeah your laugh is fucking disgusting all right everybody so that's gonna be it for episode 1.75 oh, <laughs> and snow white when the the old lady witch is like <sighs> going down that little hatch mm -hmm. and there's a ladder she's like <laughs> Yeah. And she's like oh, <laughs> closing it. That's you. <laughs> that's you, except happy. <laughs> is she not happy? I mean, she was kind of happy that that was like right when she like yeah, she was gonna get killed it. Snow White, right? get it done. She got it done. She, she did it. She had ambitions. She the stupid prince just rolled. Everybody up. should be like her. Up. She got 
what she wanted done. She if did it, what she had to do. If it wasn't for those meddling kids. Those full-grown adults the size of children. They didn't even do anything. It was just some random That's dude. also true, yeah. And, like, nothing... Nothing... That There's They weren't no even way. really a part of the story. They just... He literally just shows up. Did he have any screen time before then? No. He did. They sang to each other. The yeah, the vi- yeah. Oh, by the way, a little fun fact. Mm. My brother... When he proposed to his wife, mm-hmm. it was at Disneyland at the Snow White Wishing Well. Isn't that adorable? Are they still together? They are. Well, I mean, they got married <laughs> like last year, so I, would hope, I hope so. 2020 has been rough, so I mean, I wouldn't be surprised <laughs> if there were some like really quick marriages. Yeah. It's like, man, I love you. Can't wait to literally spend the next 24 hours every day for the next three months sitting within 10 feet of you. Darling. Darling. This is why I'm alone. No. You're not alone. You yeah, I'm you vibe alone. you vibe at a high frequency and you just need you either need somebody that vibes at a lower frequency, so it's like a harmonious mm, because you can't have somebody How'd that go? It, what? How can you do that again? Mm, I wasn't listening. You need somebody that that balances you you out, you know. Like nice. I, right. yeah. I get opposites attract and stuff like that. I do believe that that's semi true because, like, for me, like, Carla likes video games, you know. Like but she'll she play- doesn't care. Yeah. 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 But she's supportive of me. That's nice. Support is great. I'm. She's a nurse. That makes me sick to my stomach, you know, thinking about people's brains being opened up and everybody's pooping everywhere and throwing up in there. Like, but I'm supportive. Is she an ICU nurse? Huh? Is she an ICU nurse? She is. Yeah, they have it rough. Yeah. Yo, shout out to Carla. Shout out. Shout out to Dame Dalla. Shout out to Frankie Ocean. Shout Ooh. out to Earl. Do you Earthquake. remember when Can I get a shout out um to Pappy? Shout you mentioned Pappy. him earlier, yeah. right? Shout out to Pappy. Pappy's a good dude. Love Pappy. Pappy's oh, not gonna watch stuff. this. Maybe he will if he knows that we talked about him. Maybe. Well You never know. Um I was gonna ask you, do you remember when Tyler the Creator had Goblin? How old were no. you? I was probably I, w- I think it was like two thousand eleven. Yeah, I was. I would have been like thir- 13? Uh, what? All right. Well, you were an adult. You I was a, a whole man. ass adult. I could drink, and I was listening to. You I'm could a, drink. I'm a fucking walking paradox. Cool. Yeah, cool. I three single the triceratops reptile. Anyways, yeah, dude. Uh, you hang out with kids all the time. All right. Stop. Don't do that. <laughs> I wanted this to be a successful thing. <laughs> I'm not talking like children. I'm, I'm an FBI like agent that's in the Discord. Community? True. Pain. 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 Suffering. This was a 50 minutes. 50? Yeah, we're at 48.36. I, I, I no? literally only have nine fingers. Tell everybody where they can find you. This is going to be the outro stuff. So you got to be like, be yeah, you got to oh, like, like plug. Yeah, right. you got to plug. So my yeah. address is <laughs> if you need to know my social security. I'll give you my card with the three digits on the back. OK, so on Twitter, which is where you're most likely to find me, it's where I'm the most interactive. I tweet stupid shit literally all day long unless I'm hibernating. And that would be at hostile galaxy all one word spelt normally and i also have a twitch i guess i'll plug that i don't really stream too often i kind of do every now and then uh but i'll I'll play around with it i don't really enjoy playing video games right now because they're all really bad Mm -hmm. um so i don't i don't know so maybe i'll do like an art stream one time or a couple times just do like little like little doodles and stuff and mm-hmm. illustrator photoshop whatever mm-hmm. um that is the exact same as my twitter at it's hostile galaxy no underscore none of that mm. clean nice wonderful 
breezy, beautiful cover girl. Get the London I, look. I literally think that's those are the only places you could ever find me. Aside from here on Off Meta with my beautiful co-host, uh, Corey Tide. Mm-hmm. Corey, where can they find you? It doesn't matter. If you guys are watching this, you've already. All right, thank you for coming. Yep. I love all of you. Make sure, if you don't want to watch on YouTube, it is on iTunes and literally Spotify. You know, it's on Spotify. Yeah, bro. I got yeah. Trust me, I Trust. got. I got it. I got it. Trust. We have. Oh my God! I gotta update the, the the description so I can put you in it oh. and be like, oh my, God. a duo. It's gonna be official. It's it's beneficial. We got married before you and Carla did. Pretty much. I feel That's like. Insane. We would really be. What did your brother put on Instagram? What is this? Don't ask me why I'm on. (laughs) Is it the one where he's dragging the cat around? No, it's the. It's the. What? No, it's the. Like. Winifred Sanderson thing on his story. Oh, yeah. They went hiking. I was supposed to go, but I had to work. Yeah, they, they just went to like a little lake place up north a little bit and they hit they went on like a hiking trail and it was like they just wanted to get out into like the woods a little bit to like fully embrace like the the colors of fall Mm because like the leaves are changing around here like it is gorgeous in this town and so they went off to do like a little hike trail and i guess it was like an important person or some did you see the quote no what was that there's a quote, and I don't remember specifically, oh, but it was like a super pessimistic. Oh, look, woman. another glorious morning makes me sick. Perfect. Like, I love that. And she's dead now. I, I think, think they put her great. legs on backwards. They did. Yeah. Oh, I, that's. I don't know. Like her feet. Uh huh. That's f- freaky. All right. I love everybody. Matt, do you love everybody? I love Lamp. I'm going to... I'm. I love Kyle. Yo, shout out to Kyle. I just pointed at the camera, but the camera's not on. All right. Mm-hmm. Cut!